Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. You guys have been watching the show know that I'm starting to do more and more of the, or as some people might call, rolling your own. So, part of that process is preparing and cleaning the brass, right? So, what I just got in, I got in a tumbler and a dryer, and we're going to use them for the first time today. I'm going to show you how they work. Just to show you what I got, I already took everything out of the box, but to show you the box, if you see it in a store or something. This is the Frankfurt Arsenal Rotary Tumbler Light. I'm going to show you that here in a second. You can see the mouth of it right here I've got sitting on the desk. This is going to tumble the brass and clean it up. And then I have the Frankfurt Arsenal Brass Dryer. Not that side, this side. You can see right there, it almost looks like a... Uh, what you'd make your jerky in. What are those called? Dehumidifier, maybe? But this is the Frankfurt Arsenal brass dryer. And I'm going to use both of those today to clean and dry some brass. So let me flip the camera around and kind of show you what I'm working with. And then I'm going to walk you guys through using this tumbler and the dryer. And at the end, we should come up with some real clean, shiny brass. Let me flip this camera around. All right. So you can see right here. I've got the Frankfurt Arsenal Rotary Tumbler Light sitting here. This is not the permanent location. I'm just sitting in here today because it reaches the plug and I kind of moved some stuff out of the way. But this is going to be up on the shelf when I'm not using it. But we've got the tumbler. Pretty cool how it works here. I've got it plugged in. And this thing is gear driven. So that's connected to the gears right there. This is just loose sitting there and spinning. But watch what happens when I hit the switch that wheel rolls so when you have this on there and you have these sitting on the wheels and you turn that on hey that's how we get our tumbling action so what i've got to clean up today i've got 50 52 and then another 50 give or take a few pieces of brass right here just to show you a before if i can focus here this is all once fired. Hold on. My focus wouldn't want to work there, but this is all once fired. You can see I've already got the primers knocked out of most of these. That one and that one looks like I got a punch out. But yeah, this is once fired brass. You can see it is not perfectly clean and shiny like hopefully it'll be after we tumble it. But the instructions say that it will work out best if you tumble at least 150 pieces of brass or so so we've got right at 150 here give or take what we're going to do first the instructions say to put your brass in here first and then we're going to put some stainless steel medium and some water in here and a cleaning detergent thing in here i'll show you all that here in a second and then we're going to let it go to spinning instructions say let it spin somewhere between one and three hours i've got some other chores to do today so we'll probably have it run one two maybe three depending on how many hours it takes me to do my other chores but let's get all this put in here and get it to tumbling and i'll bring you with me all right so like i said the instructions say it works best when you tumble at least 150 pieces of brass well when you take the lid off that just to show you how it comes apart there's this see-through window and it's got a rubber gasket there. That's what's going to hold the water in. That's going to sit right there. And then you're going to screw your lid on top. So first we got to dump all the brass in here. And then we're going to put the water and the cleaner in here. So real quick, I'm going to dump all this brass in here. Out of all that stuff I just showed you. And then I'll be right back and show you everything else i'm going to put in here and then we're going to get it tumbling so i'm going to dump all this brass in here first all right so show you everything i'm working with here this is the stainless steel media i'm using i'm going to dump in there here in a second you don't have to use this but this stuff is going to make it extra shiny I'll show you the box right there stainless steel tumbling media two pounds but yeah and it's magnetic and then i've got some of these brass cleaning packs i'm just going to use one of them you put one in there but there's a picture of a tumbler right there and yeah Ooh, before and after check that out but this is the stuff i'm using here 
All right, so the instructions say you put your brass in first. See, got the brass in there first. And then the instructions say to put in your steel media. I'm going to dump that whole thing in there. And then it says fill the drum with water to the bottom of the mouth opening. So I'm going to fill it up with water to about right there. And then I'm going to put this pack in. So we get some water going here. This is literally my kitchen sink. I do it outside, but it's like 20 degrees outside right now. So get some water going. So you can see I got the water to just the bottom of the mouth there. Now there is a Frankfurt Arsenal cleaning solution that you can use, but like I showed you a second ago, I'm using these pods, which kind of makes it easier. It's almost like your dishwasher things. It says for the instructions for these, it's to drop that in, give it a minute or two to dissolve, and then we're gonna put this cap back on and screw this back on and make sure it's tight all right so it's only been 30 seconds but you can see how that packet is starting to dissolve in there so i'm gonna take my see-through window with that rubber gasket put it down on there then i'm gonna screw this on there pretty tight then we'll go back to the desk and put it on the tumbler and let it to get to tumbling all right so back here on my desk Quick check, make sure it's not leaking out anywhere, and make sure that these are on the wheels. And then I'm gonna check the time, hit the button, and come back at least after an hour. Might be a little bit longer, but I'm just gonna sit here and let it tumble. It's cool to see that see through window on it there. But I'll check back with you guys here in a little bit. All right, so I just shut it off. I let this thing run for about two hours and 20 minutes. Looking at the glass here, you can definitely see that's not clear water anymore. Remember at the beginning, it was clear and you could see through it. Well, let's go dump this out and see what the brass looks like. All right, now you look in the window here and you can see it's kind of sudsy. Now they do make... I put that on there tight. This thing did not leak at all, which is good. They do make strainers for this type of thing, but I don't have one. So I'm out here on the porch and I'm just kind of going to dump this out. Remember we got brass and steel and a bunch of water in there and all that cleaning sedsy job. So I wonder if I can pour some water out first a little bit. Here, we're just going to pour it all out right here. You can see how dirty that water is. Maybe I'll dump this dirty water first before I pour it all out. But you can see it definitely cleaned the brass. Got all that gunk off. All right, now, all right, now I got all that kind of dirty water poured out. For the most part but look at how shiny that brass is that brass looks like it's brand spanking new so i'm definitely a believer in that uh tumbling process and one other thing i'm going to show you real quick on this part is i got this magnet now frankfurt arsenal also makes this it's called the transfer magnet you run it over the stainless steel and that'll help you separate it but i'm gonna go get those uh sheets or pans for the dryer i guess and then i'll i'll get this brass to dry in so let me go grab that all right now how this dryer works is it has all these layers so this is the bottom layer. I've laid them out like this. I suppose you could probably just dump them in there if you wanted to, but I got them all there in a pretty ring upside down. And I'm gonna keep doing that and stacking them up until we get it in the dryer. So I'm gonna keep 
loading these up here. All right, so here's everything put together. Remember I said I had about 150 pieces. If you space it out like that, I kind of did it where nothing's touching. It filled up every level with 150 pieces, just to show you. And here's the, the lid. There's no on off button. It's gonna come on right when you plug it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up to the hottest heat, 160. Get that lid seated on there and then plug it in. Yeah, you can hear it running and I'll come back and check it here in a little bit. All right, so this has been on here for an hour and 15 minutes. And there's a shiny brass. And it's hot and it all looks like it's dry. I'll spread out like this, it'll dry faster, of course. All right, so those two things, that rotary tumbler light. I don't know why, but for some reason, that's a tongue twister for me. You saw me use it. I ran it between two and two and a half hours. And it had that brass looking, I'd say, better than brand new. Maybe brand new. And then uh, I had them all spaced out real even, 150 pieces. And that dryer, hour and 15 minutes on full power, dried all that brass completely. Now, I only had 150 pieces in there and I had them spread out real nice. I read the instruction manual on that dryer. It said that you could dry up to a thousand pieces of 223 if you're just piling it in there. But I figured if I spaced it out evenly and they weren't touching, they would dry looking a little bit better. Some people care more about how pretty their brass is than others. But hey, who to who tested? And let me tell you, if I can figure out how to use it, then you can too. The Frankfurt Arsenal Rotary Tumbler Light and that brass dryer. I'm going to get a ton of use of that stuff. I'm here to tell you. But hey, appreciate y'all watching. Hope you're staying warm. It is crazy cold here in Tennessee. Make sure you're subscribed. We got tons of videos coming out that you don't want to miss. Make sure you've gone over to hootiehoo.com and signed up for the free newsletter. And make sure you're following us everywhere at the links down below. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Woohoo!